Piers, when you were at CNN, you were known for banning celebrities. Yes. Yes, you were yeah. from the show. And I want to know who they were and why you banned them. Uh, who were the top ones? Madonna was always the first one I banned. Why? Because she's so incredibly annoying. Uh, <laughs> And she even down well, to the... Well, that's such a... Uh, explain that. Well, even down to the fake English accent she now has, which is <laughs> especially irritating. Now, I just find her... She's one of these people that she seems to always want to shock and offend us, which is fine when you're, like, 22, if you're Miley Cyrus twerking. It's a little bit awkward when you're 58 or whatever she is Why now. The, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you saying that? Well, I don't want to see you twerking, with great respect, Meredith. But and you... I... <laughs> Have you ever seen me twerk? Now you say it. No, I haven't. <laughs> Exactly. Would the, and you never would will. Would the audience <laughs> like to see Meredith twerking? <laughs> no. I, I'm a woman of great mystery. <laughs> well, what, what's his face from rolling Mick Jagger? He runs around in tight pants with his thingy sh hanging out and no shirt, and that's fine. He's no, 71, that's, so that's how he... dare you criticize her because no, she's wait 58. A minute, wait a minute. No, but that's baloney. Oh, no, no, wait that's a minute. That's baloney. No, 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 no. That's no, when you go on to the physical thing, you don't want to see her move you're her... Missing, you're missing the I central point. I find Mick Jagger equally embarrassing. Oh, you do? So, oh, all right. So I'm not, I'm not casting any sort of gender thing here. Yeah. I just think there comes a point... You're that just these, ageist. These rock stars just... They get embarrassing when they keep stripping off and doing stupid things, okay. I think. All right. So you banned her. Who else? Uh, Hugh Grant. Why would you uh, ban the dapper Hugh Grant? Yes. Oh, <laughs> don't give me uh, that What do halo... you know about him that we don't know? Well, he's impregnated most of London. <laughs> which is, uh, there you go. Whilst, whilst constantly espousing great moral lectures at the British press. So we have he has of... one child, doesn't he? No, he's got dozens of them all over London. <laughs> No, he's, he's, he's got a string of women all over London, all carrying his, his child. So, you know, this is somebody that likes to be the great... We call him the Bishop, Bishop Grant in England because he lectures the British press all the time about their lack of morals whilst quietly running around procreating with anyone he can get his hands on. <laughs> So, uh, he was banned for disciplinary reasons. Oh, OK. Yeah. And, and I thought Heather Mills was interesting why you banned her. Well, I felt personal shame about this because yes. I actually introduced Heather Mills to Paul McCartney. Literally introduced him. I invited Paul McCartney. You thought uh, they'd be a perfect match. Well, I just thought, you know, at the time she seemed such a harmless individual. <laughs> it t <laughs> she turned out to be absolutely horrendous. But um, <laughs> but he, they met at this. I was running a newspaper in Britain, the Daily mm. Mirror, and we had a, a big uh, sort of uh, event where Paul McCartney came and she made a speech and they got together. And then, of course, they got divorced. And I, I bumped into Paul McCartney's daughter in uh, London High Street, and she stopped <laughs> and came. She was running and she came running back and she said. Dad says, thanks a lot, you cost him $50 million. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was uh, fair enough. So I had to ban her, just as, to try and somehow make up make to support. Up, yeah. Yeah. You were banned, however, when Rosie had her own show, Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. She banned you. Yes. So how did it make you feel? Not good. Oh, uh, no, of course not. So I had to immediately ban her from mine. It was uh, <laughs> in a counter-strike. At one stage, I'd banned so many people that my booking team at CNN said, we can't get a show out. <laughs> Can you try and lift some of the bans? Kelsey, Which... Kelsey Grammer I had to ban. Why would you have... Well, because well, he somebody's turned... a clapping. Well, they see, immediately, they agree with me, right? <laughs> Finally. Um, well, it, because he turned up at my, my old CNN show and, and he actually left before we even got on air. We had an, an hour of live TV to film. You know what that's like. And he, I, I suddenly got this message in my ear saying, Kelsey has left the building because he took exception to some picture of his ex-wife he'd seen on the, on, the, uh, on the start of the show, promo. And had I you said, promised not to show that picture? Well, we sort of had a loose dis uh, discussion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you promised not to show it. That one of my team may or may not have, oh. have said, we'll try and change it. It wasn't a promise. And I thought it was pretty outrageous to then just leave. And so we were left with just this hour of time to fill. But it was so he had to be banned. What so, did you do for the hour? Twerk or? Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I basically interviewed myself. It was a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Madonna. We mentioned that. You, that's why actually Rosie banned you because yeah. she's good friends with Madonna. Correct. She didn't like you bad mouthing Madonna. Correct. Just so the audience knows the the yeah. whole story. I actually, there. I actually get on quite well with Rosie. Actually. Oh, good. Um, so we actually kissed and made up. Okay. I mean, and not Madonna. Li not literally, but not we. Literally. You know, okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. But Madonna still now. Oh, God, okay. I mean, forever. Lifetime ban. Well, she actually made headlines then for reposting these doctored images, I think we have them, of uh, civil rights leaders like Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King Jr. to promote her new album. And it's important to note that her fans actually created those images and then she just um, reposted them. You see, what you should be doing, you should be banning Madonna for doing exactly this kind of well, nonsense. Well, no, wait, she... 
Seriously. Right. This was her, ba ban this was her, her fan base. That Meredith, look down no, no, the no, camera I'm not and ban Madonna. I'm not going to ban her because this, these were sent by her fan base. This was her I don't image. Care. She's Just posting. listen. Shut up for a minute. So, so listen. She, she, her album, right? Rebel Heart, the her face with the the cord across her, yeah. and so her fans did it with other people they think have rebel hearts, and she reposted it. But there was a huge backlash. I she agree with you. She reposted pictures of Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King and with, Diana bo too. with bondage stripes over their faces. But it was Somehow likening herself as a rebel heart to the greatest people of the last century. That she said that's not what she was trying to do, but she did apologize. She, should you apologize for artistic expression? It's not artistic expression. It's, an, it's a grotesque insult to some of the most courageous, fearless and heroic people in history. So, the fact that she reposted it to you is reprehensible. The fact that she went along with this and somehow tried to get some kind of similarity between her terrible, by the way, album... <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, listened to it? I, I, I got about two seconds into the first oh, song okay. and, uh, and I realised it was, like all the others, <laughs> awful. <laughs> do you ever let go of a grudge? Um, yes, I do, actually. I, tell I, me uh, somebody where you really... Oof, and then you said, I'm making my peace. Well, now you're putting me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I've had a couple of people in Britain where I had long feuds with them, and we actually, only a few weeks ago, in my local pub in London, we did, we did make up. Uh, but you Is someone we would know? No, you would Oh, yeah, you might. He's a guy called Jeremy Clarkson. He's a star of a show called Top Gear about cars. And this scar on my head was when he punched me in the head at a party once. And, um, oh, my God. It's a, it's a long story. It comes up when I got a little bit of a tan. Um, but the good news was, when he hit me, he broke his little finger hitting my head. So <laughs> this is a very hard head to hit. Um, but <laughs> he, he's not well known here particularly, but we did eventually make him after 10 years. I have a kind of 10-year rule. So if Madonna can get to 10 years, I'll, I'll review the situation. She, she may have Where, to... What has she had at this point? You banned her so many years ago. Well, she may have to get on, on bended knee in Times Square and apologise to me. Like, that's going to happen. Well, OK. You never All right. know. All right. The way her career's going could be next Stop week. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. All right. I am not going to hit you in the face, but I am going to ask you some hard-ending questions. We're going to turn the tables on you. It is time for something we call piercing questions. I like that. All right. I like that. Here's the deal. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Ask you a series of rapid-fire questions, and I expect you to get answers to all of them, all right? You're quite intimidating, aren't you? Not trying to be. Mm. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's quite sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case... Um, all right. 60 seconds. Start the clock. The most embarrassing thing you've done on a Saturday night. Oh, my God. Every Saturday night's embarrassing. <laughs> um, I once danced uh, semi-naked, pretending to be Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses in a... Uh, <laughs> in a Barbados nightclub singing Live and Let Die, the Guns N' Roses version. I thought it was brilliant. Everybody else thought it was embarrassing. OK, most uncomfortable celebrity interview. Um, I think it was with the Prime Minister of Tunisia when he insisted on, with a five-second delay, on speaking in French with an interpreter. <laughs> and I asked him one question, which was, was how are things in your country, Mr <laughs> Prime Minister? He answered for 11 minutes. <laughs> Which, which, with a delay, which then had to be translated all into French. Uh, it was right. a ludicrous interview. <laughs> Something only your wife knows about you. Um, that I'm extremely good in bed. Uh... <laughs> so she's the only one you've had sex with, all right? <laughs> one, uh, when... Actually... So only one who You said only my that. wife. Yes, it, exactly. It just struck me that you so know that as well. So only one woman finds that to be the case, right? <laughs> all right.